Hey guys, today in this review, I am going to share with you some simple tricks to speed up your overall experience with this Note 3. For example, without even unlocking the phone, you can just swipe your hand over the top part of the phone to know about the date and time, your notifications and the battery status. Obviously, this is a super powerful phone, but the interface is quite sophisticated and with these tricks, you can do your task much faster. Now when you pick up the phone, the phone will vibrate when you have any notification. This feature is called Smart Alert and the first one is called Quick Lens. Now as you know here on this lock screen, you can add different type of widgets like your music player, messaging and news reader apps. So in this way you can check your important notifications right from the lock screen and save a lot of time. You can even swipe this clock widget down and get your schedule and weather info. Swiping this left will bring your favorite applications which you can obviously customize and you can also switch it with the camera launcher. You can do this from the lock screen settings. This is the option you should check. Now just with a single swipe you can launch the camera right away from your lock screen. Now the home button response of Samsung Galaxy series phones are kind of laggy because the same key is used for launching the S voice. As you know you can just double press it to launch the S voice and when you single press this phone actually waits for the second press and check whether you want to launch the S voice or not. So you should disable this feature and to disable this just launch the S voice and from the menu you will get this S voice settings. Here you have to just uncheck this open via the home key option. Now the home key response is almost instantaneous. So in this ways you can speed up your overall experience with this TouchWiz user interface. If you press and hold the home button you will get your task manager and from here you can check whether you have any unnecessary applications. You can also look for malware apps that always run in the background and uses data and eventually slows down your smartphone. You should also clean up the RAM from here to kill any unnecessary background applications and there are a few other applications like Clean Master which helps you to clean up your cache memory and the residue files of different applications. The TouchWiz UI always eats up lots of RAM so you should do this to broaden the multitasking capability and speed up the overall experience with this Galaxy Note 3. As you know there is a multicolored LED notification light here and from the settings you will get very few options which doesn't justify the versatile uses of this LED light. So you can install some applications like the Lightflow app I have installed. This app will enable you to set different colors for different type of notifications and even for calls and messages from different contacts. You can also enable pop-up notification on the screen and set any specific color for this MMS notification. You can set the flash rate as well. You can also check the sound settings, the repeating sound and the vibration settings. There are different type of vibration patterns here which will help you to guess which type of notifications you have got. You are also getting repeating vibration option here. So this app will help you to get an idea about your notifications even without touching the device and from here you can set different notification patterns for different contacts. Now the dimension of Note 3 is huge for one hand but Samsung has included some nice tricks to optimize it for one hand for example here on this dialer you can shrink the dial pad to left or right and the most useful trick is you can shrink the whole display to left or right to make it usable with one hand you are getting access to all the hardware keys as well. You can speed up your writing experience with the help of the continuous input and by implementing the autocomplete and autocorrect features. Handwriting mode with the S Pen is also quite user friendly. As you know while hovering the S Pen, if you press the button on the S Pen you can get this small handwriting window. This applies to anywhere on this phone including the browser. This is a very good shorthand trick you can keep in mind. There is a handy hands free mode as you know which enables this phone to read out all of your notifications including missed calls, messages, alarm and schedule. So you don't have to reach out for the phone every time you get unnecessary messages and missed calls. Sometimes you may get annoyed with the unnecessary notifications from the adware and malware. So what you can do is whenever you get those unnecessary notifications just press and hold and go to this app info. Here you can disable this show notification option. You can also uninstall these apps if you don't need. 
As you know, swiping with two fingers will bring all the notifications and there is a power saving mode which is very useful when you are running out of battery but don't use this all the time because this will hamper the performance of the smartphone especially while gaming and while browsing. Single swipe brings 5 main notification toggles and you have to scroll every time you want to access the rest. So what you can do is to just go to this editing mode and rearrange the main toggle switches you want first on this notification panel. Pressing and holding on any toggle will bring the respective settings. Sometimes finding a specific application seems quite hard. So what you can do is to just switch to this alphabetical list and now finding an application is quite easy. As you know here on this contacts menu you can just swipe right to call and swipe left to write a message. After opening a contact you can just put this phone to your ear to directly call that person. You can also accept any call in the same way. Just enable the air call accept feature from the hands free mode. There is another very important tip I want to share with you guys. Always keep at least 1 gig of free storage and install your crucial applications that is the apps you frequently use to the internal storage only. This Note 3 is already a very powerful phone and the simple tricks may speed up your overall experience with this amazing smartphone. I have uploaded couple of tips and tricks reviews on this Note 3. You can check the description below and find the links. So thanks for watching guys this is Shukesh Bonik and don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch.